Well, let's talk about Cuba quickly. Um, a lot of, I mean, good news coming out of Cuba, not, not really good news, but good news in a sense that for the first time in memory in a long time, uh, Cubans are uh, railing against the government, they're demonstrating against the government, they're, they're, they're being courageous and brave, and they're, they're, they're advocating for change, and they're going into the streets. The Cuban uh, regime uh, has learned uh, that the way to deal with this, it, 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 it's had a number of different lessons. It saw how Eastern Europe folded and how Eastern Europe, uh, you know, completely replaced its regimes and, and, and completely folded. And yet, and they've also seen how Venezuela has handled this. And the Venezuela example is the one that they've chosen. And the Venezuela example is don't give in. The demonstrations are there, beat them up. They'll come back, keep beating them up. People are poor and starving, let them get poor and starving. Keep at it. Don't give them, and an, an whatever money you have, Spend it on thugs that can beat up the, the, the demonstrators. Keep beating the demonstrators up. Don't use the army. Pay thugs to do it. Uh, use, use a mercenary force of, of the kind of thugs that, uh, that uh, uh, that guy wanted to use against me, right? Um, and, and just pound the demonstrators down and, and make them lose confidence that they can win. And since nobody will help them, nobody will support them, uh, just keep at them until their willpower is broken, as in a sense the willpower of the opposition in Venezuela has been broken. And what you're going to see is an attempt by the Cuban regime just to hold on, to keep pounding. They don't care about lives. They don't care about the levels of poverty. They don't care. The only thing they care about, the only thing they care about is power, is maintaining power. Is the communist regime in Cuba maintaining power. And it's not this power. It's not just that it's associated with with a, with, with a life of privilege, privilege in the proper sense, um, a, a life of, of some level of wealth. It's not about the money. It's about the power. These bastards are power hungry. They have, they, they, they have at their disposals, um, you know, goons who will do their bidding. The regime in Cuba is evil and a monstrosity, and they will hold on to power no matter what at anybody's expense, no matter how many people have to be killed or beaten or maimed, they will hold on to power and they will not give it up, no matter how many people go out in the streets. The only way a revolution in Cuba or in Venezuela can succeed is if force, you know, force is used, if, if, if uh, you know, violence is used against the regime, against the people holding on to power. That is the only way they will give up power. And unfortunately, both in Cuba and in Venezuela, the military has sided with the status quo. The military has not joined the people who were poor revolution, partially because they're afraid of what will happen to them afterwards. So um, the military holds a balance of power, and so far the military has sided with the authoritarian brutes. And the authoritarian brutes know this, so they, they, they basically grant most of the wealth benefit of being an authoritarian goes to goes to the military. So the military generals make a fortune. Nobody else does. Um, so it's, um, it, it's truly depressing to read what's going on in Cuba. The, the, you know, the Biden administration has been not bad on this. It, it's, it could be better, but it's been not bad. It's condemned communism. It's condemned authoritarianism. Uh, it's condemned the regime. It's supported uh, the, the demonstrators. It's condemned violence uh, against the demonstrators. It has, uh, it has taken the right stand. A again, weak um, and, and not as authoritarian, uh, author authoritative as they should be. But, you know, I, I think some of you thought that maybe Biden would come out in favor of communism and, and, support, and support the uh, communist regime in Cuba. It, it, he hasn't done that. Um, I never expected him to, but he hasn't done that. I think some of you would have expected him. And, um, and he is, uh, and as a consequence, you know, the, the, the Cuba is not going to get help from the United States, but neither did Venezuela, and yet they still survive somehow. They still survive. I think right now, both Venezuela and Cuba are probably benefiting some from, from, they probably benefit some from Iran. Iran probably sends them something, but, uh, given how poor Venezuela is and the fact that they don't have any uh, oil, 
given how poor Cuba is, it's really going to be a challenge to see how these uh, how these regimes survive. Uh, just 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 from a from a ex uh, existential sense, just in terms of feeding themselves, given uh, given the um, whoops, what did, what happened? No, anyway, got it. Um, you know that they they survive given that they have no sources of income, zero. Um, it's going to be it, it could get really tragic where people are tr literally dying. Of, of starvation. It could be the case already in Venezuela. We don't know that much about what's going on if you were in Venezuela. And it certainly could ultimately evolve into what happens in Cuba unless the United States intervenes in some way or another. Um, uh, what we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes. All right, before we go on, reminder... Please like the show. We've got 163 live listeners right now. Uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share and uh, you can support the show at yourunbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if, you, even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified, right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.